In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do simple chair shapes or bench shapes like this. They're both done in a very similar way, uh, which is all created in one design in Fusion 360. So to do so, click on the plus, open up new sketch, add the first sketch to the vertical work plane here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to set the height to about 450 and the length here to about 550. Let's try that. Uh, before I move on, I'm going to add a fillet to here, to here. So using this fillet tool, just click on one line and click on the other one and press enter. So I have three fillets. Don't want to fill it here because this is where the backrest joins which you will understand in a second. Next, I'm going to use the offset tool. I'm going to select the line, and you'll see it selects every line all the way around it, because over here on the offset tool, you have chain selection checked. So that means the software works out the lines that are connected to this line and selects them all. So I click on this, uh, the offset set to one. Let's try. 80. It's going the wrong way, so flip it. So it goes on the inside. Click OK. So I just need to check. I want this corner to have the same fillet as these corners. So I just need to find the size of this. So I can do that by clicking on the dimension tool and just dragging it out so I can see it's 20. The radius, the radius is 20. So here, I'm going to use the fillet, click on that edge, click on that edge. Too big at 70. Well, if you want it to be 70, you can. You have creative control. So you decide the sizes and the shapes ultimately. But this is a good way of maybe starting to practice building a chair up. You sometimes get warnings like this when there's some sort of over constrained or you've removed a dimension, which but I wouldn't worry about it at this stage too much. So I'm going to click line tool now. I'm going to go from the corner here. I'm going to go up a height of 450. Maybe a little bit less. It's important you look at the proportions of each line to make sure it's looking correct. The angle, which I've just pressed the tab button, I've now, you can see I'm on the angle now. Uh, what do I want the angle to be? Let's say 115, that looks okay. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more upright for certain types of chairs. If you research these things properly, you will know some types of chairs have more upright, some are more laid back. So that's what you need to be thinking about when you're drawing your parts. I'm going to set the line tool again. I'm going to draw a straight line out. That needs to be 80. I want this top bit to have the same thickness as this bottom bit here. Just creates a more consistent look across the object. But again, it's up to you. I'm going to draw down. I want that to be 80. I'm sorry, I want this to be parallel. So you see that? You've got those two blue lines which appear when I move it. Sometimes it's hard to get it. There, there you go. Move straight down. Try to keep those blue lines. You can move it past. I can try to join it on. Sometimes it's easier, easier to draw the line past so it's not joining it on to another line. Remember, the key thing there is keeping those blue angled lines so that you know it's parallel. Click skip. I don't want to draw another line from this point, so click skip. And use the trim tool. Go and delete that, go and delete that. Delete it again. All right. I think that's all I need for now. So let's finish the sketch. So that's your first sketch. Remember over here, you should only ever have the one sketch at this point. You shouldn't have a whole lot of sketches. I don't know why. But people often create lots and lots of sketches and it ends up a bit of a mess. So try to keep everything in one sketch. So always be aware of that over, over here in the browser menu. Okay. Uh, let's extrude it. Select that outer area. I want this to be hollow here. 
and click a distance, and our distance of say 40. Again, you can choose these measurements, depends on the sort of material you wanted to use here. You could have done some research, what's a suitable size, can it be thicker, thinner, what's the difference? Does that change the object structurally? Does it make problems for it? Okay, so sizes are really, really important. You've worked out properly. Click OK. Right. What I will do now is add some more fillets after I've extruded. So here's the fillet tool again, but for not for the sketch, for physical shapes. So I'm going to choose that edge. At the same time, I'm going to choose that edge. And I will make a fillet of about 30. And you'll see it makes a perfect round of edge. 40. Yeah, you can again, you can choose which size you think looks the best. Click OK. I also think a fillet here and a fillet at the back would make the object look a little bit better. Let's try quite a large fillet here. See if we can make it even bigger, see what happens. Yeah, doesn't make much of a difference. Click OK. Adding a bit of material here as well makes the shape stronger. Remember, people can be leaning against this, so you want the structure to be quite strong. Fill it again and again. Adding a large fillet to this side. <coughs> Let's try higher. A bit more. It doesn't look too bad. So that's the side or one side of your bench or chair. Sure. Okay. Right. So let's move on. Click sketch tool. I'm going to select on this side now. First of all, I will draw the back supports. So in your model, these. Okay. Again, you can decide how many planks you want or bars running across. It should probably have some sort of support across the bottom as well to make it stronger. In reality as well, you need to know in your drawings how these objects are joined. How is this joint lat? Was there some sort of wood joint slots in? Is there some sort of joint in there to hold it in place? Is there brackets? Again, so really in your final solutions, you should be showing that low sort of details. Let's go back. So <clears throat> let's just start here. I'm going to draw somewhere here. I'm going to draw 100 mil long. I'm going to use the offset tool. I'm going to make that 20 mil. So slightly thinner than the thickness of the side pieces. Click OK. <clears throat> I'm going to join from here to here and from here. Let's just get rid of these dimensions. Again, sometimes after you've drawn them, dimensioned them properly, they can get in the way. It just makes it visually a bit hard to see, and they're no longer that necessary. Um, oh yeah, one other dimension I put on is here to the back edge, so I know that exact distance. You shouldn't have dimensions like that in your drawing. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be distances between important parts like this at dimensions like that. It should be good even round numbers something like that looks correct enough I shall as before delete that I'm going to copy that now so I'm going to command Z or command C and command V to copy and paste and move this down here click OK now I'm going to select that one and do the same command C and V so easy to copy and paste drawings they're all in the wrong place, obviously, so you need to use the dimension tool again. To move them into place. I think it 25, wasn't it? Yeah. Again. Oh, make sure you got the right object, not this. We're measuring the right place. So that these lines are all collinear. There's another tool here you can use to do that, but maybe I'll show you that another time. Dimension tool. 
make that 20. As always, you choose the dimension so it looks correct to your design. That's the three back pieces. Do the same across here. So I'm just gonna use the, oh, I've come out of that sketch. I shouldn't have come out of that sketch. Yeah, you no longer got the sketch tools here. So <clears throat> instead of create a new sketch, this is what people do often, they create, so for example, these three drawings in one sketch here. Uh, and then they accidentally come out of the sketch and then they click on this tool again and they create more sketches. That's not what you want to do. You wanna keep all these in the same sketch. So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to edit sketch, <clears throat> which brings me back into that, these sketches. So let's choose the rectangle. Let's draw again 20 by 100. You can copy and paste our, this one's a bit easier. So just draw it again. Again, different ways of doing these drawings. You will learn the best ways from just experimenting with the software. Oh, so I need to dimension that one to be the same as the others. Let's just check that. Yeah, make sure you're correcting and checking all your dimensions. So let's go to here and press on there and make that say 75. We'll keep it similar. The distances between here is 20, so we'll keep it the same down here. 20. Uh, 20. And again, let's just get these all in line. So uh, let's use the base, measure from the base peak at the bottom here. So we'll select here, go to this line. So you get a dimension between that line and that line. And let's make a third. So they're all in line with each other. Uh, in the example I showed you, I put two metal or aluminium bars across the bottom. So I'm going to use the circle tool. I'll drop in, let's say it's a 40, oh, I need to mention it, 40 mil diameter. Let's put another one in. I'm going to go over here, go to the center point, and drag across so I know it's on the same line as the first circle. I drew that to 40. You can check it. That's fine. I will then again dimension it. 110 seems fine to me. It looks in a good position. Same again. On one tab, and that's it. So finish the sketch. I've now got all the parts to extrude across. So there are several ways of doing this, but the simplest way is to extrude them. So let's select the parts you want to extrude. So there's lots of different ways of doing this sort of shape. This is probably the more basic way of doing this sort of shape. We really should be creating each component separately and then each in separate designs and then using the assembly tool to assemble all the parts together. But this is another way of working which maybe some of you want to experiment with. All right, for those of you who are looking to get more complex shapes or complex products, you should be thinking about using assembly. All right, so we're going to select all these. We're going to select it to be a join Again, I'll talk another time about all the different options you have here. But let's just make it a join. And the center of value. So it's gonna be a bench, long bench, can be 
all sorts of lengths. So let's say one and a half meters long. So I'm only going to make half of it. You'll understand why in a few minutes. Let's say 750. Seven title. Okay, make sure you've got everything selected. To join, click OK. Why make half of it? Because it's simpler to reflect and get the same shape on the other side rather than having to mess around trying to recreate this this side on the other side on the other side. So you go to create, you go to mirror, mirror. Click on it. I want to choose features. So select that feature. Click on the shift key. Select the fillets you also made and the first extrusion. So the whole object is selected. Uh, mirror plane. Click on select here and you just want to select the plane around which you will reflect all these parts. Click once and you can see the preview. Click OK and there you go. You've now created that shape. I'm going to add some color. Let me do it here just to remind you how to do this. So we will go to appearance. So I just press A on your keyboard and you should see a dialog box appear. I'm going to open it and let's see what's down here. So stainless steel is perhaps the bottom. It's you. Again, you can experiment, have a look through. I'm just going to drag. Oh, Right, I remember this now. The moment's on bodies components, so it's going to do the whole thing. So let's just show you this. Let's go. Most of the object is like wood. Scroll down. Let's have a look. We shall choose mahogany, for example. Mahogany. Again, experiment. Choose which one you want. I'm now going to apply it to the face of the object. So, again, you can experiment. I'm just going to pull pine across so you can see what it looks like. This is one of the problems when you do use the reflection tool or the mirror tool. It's sort of in two halves. It's not a brilliant way of doing it, but it's probably the quickest way. And scroll back up. Yeah, I'll be showing you more complex ways of producing a shape like this in other tutorials, which you can see on YouTube. Still, still. So that gives a very quick, simple, visual representation of the materials you're going to use. All right. So you've have a go doing something like this. Again, you choose the dimensions you want. Think about the angles you need, the distance from here to here and so on. It's important to work out. Okay. And remember at all times, I can go back and change things. So if I went back to the second sketch, for example, Something went wrong there. Not sure what. Right click on the sketch, edit the sketch. So you could realize that this is a little bit too high from the ground. People wouldn't be comfortable sitting on it. So again, you can change it. You can work out the dimensions from here to here. So it's 400. So if you wanted to bring it down, for example, to 380, maybe make it higher, 400. The bottom so 420 would be the top to here. Yeah, it's pretty low. Benches like this are usually a little bit low, um, but we could move it subtly just by changing these dimensions. Yeah, so maybe move it up or down. Let's say move it up. Again, I'm not sure. I'd have to go away and check myself, but you've done the research. The research. So you should know what size is the best size from here to the bottom for people to be able to sit comfortably so that their legs can touch the ground comfortably. Again, and that depends on the type of chair. Think about the difference between a bench like this and the stools which are in the workshop. So 
So that has actually moved. Yeah, so it automatically updates and moves the position of the other objects which you've created after that point in the making process. Okay.